Yo, what's up? This is uh, Shifu's re uh, lore, and I'm gonna uh, just review it with you guys. I'm trying to get people to take some interest in battle right and shit. Alright, so The Covenant and the Hair by Christopher Harrow. No opponent is more powerful than the Wayne Shifu. The wazen white hair spear master scream to his ward. The way of the spear may submitting to the elements. Shifu stood on the side of the arena floor, watching his hair to uh, to the mysterious and mystical way of the Nishu fight to the death interesting he hoped he would live he will live i'm trying master the hair reply grappling the spear in defense the hair spears uh, a spear blade miss the face of the challenger the challenger did not miss the handle of his battle axe stroked the hair's face Opening of vicious cut, Shifu's eyes widen, his heart drop. The challenger spun around, and I mean with neck uh, sniping speed, slashing the blade of his axe through the hair lower torso. The hair ran his hand across his stomach, and wings at the sight of his own blood, bursting out in. For me, spurts. His eyes darted frantically around the arena until he found Shifu, who was witnessing the pain and shock of a boy unprepared for death. The spear fell from the hare's hand and he collapsed with it. Shifu burst into the arena and rushed over to the boy to pick him up but the body was already limp he looked into the hair's open eyes i mean hair's open lifeless eyes she flew here the apprentice who was to continue the ascendant way of spear was slain she flew knelt to whisper to his failing ward you stubborn boy I told you that arena is not a place for experimenting. A tear fell from Shifu's eyes, hit the ground, <coughs> and was reclaimed by the earth. Only in the boy's death did Shifu finally realize him as a man, absent of innocence. It remain. It remain. It remained, it reminded Shifu of the moment his own childhood <coughs> eyes darkened. I'm sick. His his carefree spirit uh, uh, exercise for most of his adult life, Shifu had buried this memory the day he was cursed by his family's heritage but today with knees soaked with the blood of his hair he had no choice but to remember she would cry in the hem, hem of his sister's skirt hiding his eyes from the madness around him they were in the warmth of his grandfather's car uh, cottage, but he felt as cold as a winter morning. His grandfather scolded him. Tears mean nothing. Tears mean nothing to the ashen one. Gather your strength, boy. Looking up at his grandfather's uh, weary yet mournful eyes, she would try his best to be strong. But he was only a boy and the tears flowed freely. 
the body of his dead mother lay at his feet. Otarni tar uh, tarny shadows stood over her, slowly taking the shape of a carving dark figure. Its face was full of lines, cracked and hard like the beaks, the bark of a tree. It stood tall like a broken castle tower, upright and folded over. It wore a cloud of ash like a cloak. It wasn't a man or beast, demon or angel, but made of wind and dust and menace. At the ashen once uh, clawed bare feet, she full grandfather dripped in tattered clothing, knelt in um, obs uh, obedience. Young Shifu looked at I mean, on and held his sister tighter while she stroked his hair and caressed his, caresses his cheek uh, reassuringly. Lord of earth and, uh, and air, you didn't have to kill her, the grandfather cried. This obedience come at a cost of of a life, I guess cost of life. This is our uh, covenant, our price. Present your hair. The ancient one lowered his voice. Low voice was like the grinding of rock against rock, and autumnal, autumnal, autumnal. Gill wrapping through a forest of oak. The ashen one wrap its grown its not not grown. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Uh, tendrilled fingers around the neck of his grandfather, lifting the old man several feet in the air. She full stared at his grandfather, Bear and Sophie, Scarborough's from the uh, decade in the field, dangling in the air. He thought to himself, Grandfather, please just submit. Eyes bulge. His grandfather kicked feverishly as he gasped for air. The action won't continue without haste. You hid your eyes from me and asked the law reads you must let an hair of the way if you have no hair a life must be taken where is your hair he's barely unable to breathe she uh grandfather struggled to stay conscious the ashen one dropped him to the ground the grandfather called for air he's dead Sickness, my lord. So he has been delivered to the gods. And what of his son? What else who a man live for but to pass the way on to his offspring? By my, by my lord, his son is just a char, the grandfather persists. We were all children once. Age does not free you from the crime of your ancestor or the covenant they made with the gods of the land of your forefather. Damn you and your covenant. Shifu grandfather took the large and majestic spear that rests against the fireplace mantle. Its shimmering blade gleam in the light in the night he lifted the spirit to strike the ashen one thus from the ground rose curled up the hand of shifu's grandfather until it melted across his skin covering his arm cementing his upper body to the ground 
making him one with the earth. He opened his mouth to scream, but nothing came out. He was frozen in time, in a time of pillow of salt and ash. The ashen one raises raises foot on the newly formed statue. Need I remind you, your ancestor invades the invaded the cave of Nishu and stole its Asian spear. Ever since then your people have been bound by the confidence of the spear. Your line must now bear the burden to choose a master of its of this Asian discipline, and that master must choose an hair. I don't think it's an hair, it's a hair, not an hair. If an hair is not slated, the an air air am I pronouncing it wrong? An air. Maybe it's an air. I, I, the, maybe the H is not there. Uh, I mean, it's still H though. So, oh, on or air. I don't know if you pronounce it with E. What the word is actually H. Uh, that's some complicated shit right there. But an air is is what. Like most people will pronounce it as, as for me, being like a stubborn person, I will just pronounce it as all hair. I mean, like one is O N E, but it sounds like W one, and we still pronounce it that way. Dang, man, I don't know anymore, bro. Like the shit we learn, it's it's kind of weird. I'm just gonna pronounce this shit however the fuck I want to. Uh, it's not slated for the first time. I return. I will take a life. The second time I return, the following crop season, your line, your people will be swallowed into the earth. Swallowed into the earth. The action one continues. They hear. You see that they hear you chose uh will have the power of the earth and <sighs> a win a, a power that is ageless starting him early will make even more powerful. You have already paid the first price called the Trojan Poor or pay the second one. Young Shifu look on uh wait how uh, much more holy smoke this is a long read all right I'm gonna end the uh recording here and depending on how many people watch this I'm gonna make the rest of the recording so consider this part one I'm gonna get entire reading this Anyways, a little bit of summary here. Uh, Shifu. Uh, I don't really know if it was Shifu or if it was like a trainee. Uh, hold on, was it Shifu grandfather? No. Anyways, it was a Shifu. It was Shifu talking to. Uh, To his trainee, and then his trainee got like his trainee got killed or something by the challenger, and then Shifu went to cry over the trainee. His sister was there. He went to his sister and stuff, and his grandpa was telling him not to cry. And then I I, I noticed they said his grand his grandmother. I mean, yeah, I don't know what it said his grandmother his mother was laying there dead, and it was all complicated and stuff. And then the uh, Ashen one came in. I mean, you guys probably know. You guys can probably explain this a lot better than I can. But the the Ashen one came in and then uh, asked for a hair, an air or whatever you call it, or hair. I'm gonna call it a hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
uh, just to annoy people. Anyways, uh, I don't think his grandpa kind of got pissed off because the the Asha one uh, choked him and like lift him up and stuff. And the grandpa wanted to attack the Asha one, and the grandpa got turned into ashes and uh, into a stone statue. And now Shifu is the only one left. It, it's at the, like I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh, you guys know how this is gonna turn out anyways. But yeah, if you guys wanna watch the rest, yes, you should, uh, I think I should leave a thumbs up and all that stuff. Or depending on how many people watch this, I'm gonna continue and stuff like that. Uh, peace out.